This is my GoPro Hero 11 vlogging setup. In today's video, I'll go over the gear and the settings I use with this setup. The GoPro Media Mode is the foundation of this entire setup. This accessory allows me to connect an external microphone to the GoPro and add accessories such as a light or even an external monitor. The mini table tripod comes next. It makes holding the GoPro much more comfortable and it allows me to place the entire setup on a table if necessary. I can't really remember what brand it is. I recommend that you look into the Ulanzi MT09 mini tripod. Unfortunately, I no longer have it, but it's a great alternative to the GoPro Shorty. In addition, I have the GoPro bite mount, which I sometimes use for POV shots. It's small and doesn't make me sweat like the GoPro chesty mount. I occasionally use the Yolanzi VL49 mini light in low light situations. As you are probably aware, GoPros don't perform well in low light situations, so having a compact light to boost the exposure on the face is a must. Let's move on to the microphones. The first is the actual microphone on the media mode itself. The sound quality is not the best in my opinion, but it does make the GoPro vlog setup very discreet and compact, which I appreciate. One tip for using the media mode microphone is to add the media mode shortcut to your GoPro screen so you can quickly switch between the front and back microphones. This is what it sounds like when I'm in front of the camera and the media mode setting is set to the back microphone. And this is what it sounds like when I'm in front of the camera with the media mode setting set to the front microphone. Basically, when you are in front of the camera, use the front microphone and when you are behind it, use the back microphone. The next microphone is the Rode VideoMic Go 2 shotgun microphone. It's a significant improvement in terms of audio quality over the media mode microphone and it's simple to use. There is no need to turn on or change anything. It just works. This microphone does have a couple of annoying features though. It makes the GoPro setup bulky and if you use the Rode wind muff or windscreen, it will show up in the frame even with linear field of view. The next microphone is the Rode Lavalier Go. It has excellent sound quality and noise rejection. However, as you can see, when using this microphone, you have to be tethered to the camera, which is inconvenient. In addition to the Rode Lavalier Go, I occasionally use the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro X wireless microphone. This allows me to be 10 to 30 meters away from the camera without being tethered to it and still have great sound quality. Let me now play all of the microphones side by side and you tell me which one sounds the best in the comment section down below. This is a sound quality test of the GoPro Media Mode front microphone and the GoPro Hero 11 Black. This is a sound quality test of the Rode VideoMic Go 2 and the GoPro Hero 11 Black. This is a sound quality test of the Rode Lavalier Go microphone and the GoPro Hero 11 Black. This is an audio quality test of the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro X wireless microphone and the GoPro Hero 11 Black. Now that I've shown you what gear I use with my GoPro, let's get into the GoPro settings. I shoot in 5.3K 25P for the majority of the time, unless I'm shooting in low light, then I switch to 4K 25P because it has less noise in the image. I've made a whole video about the GoPro Hero 11 in low light, you can watch it right here. I set my field of view to linear with horizon lock because I want my horizon to be leveled without having to do anything in post-production. I have hypersmooth set to auto boost, which provides excellent stabilization with the least amount of cropping in the image. Again, I've made a whole video about hyper smooth with the GoPro Hero 11 and the GoPro Hero 10. You can watch it right here. I have 10 bit enabled because I enjoy color grading my videos. For the best image quality, the bit rate is set to high. The shutter is mostly set to automatic unless I'm shooting in low light, in which case I use 1 over 50. I keep the EV compensation at minus 0.5 because I find the GoPro to overexpose the image most of the time. I set it to 0.0, .0 in low light situations. I keep the white balance at 5000 to 5500 Kelvin and in low light I set it to 4000 to 4500 Kelvin. I set the ISO minimum maximum to 100 to 400 in daylight and 100 to 800 in low light. I'll bring my Yolanda VL49 with me if I know I'll be vlogging at night. Sharpness is set to low, color to flat and if I use the media mode microphone I usually set it to the front microphone setting on the GoPro 
or standard microphone setting if I use an external microphone. Okay, so that's it. This is my GoPro Hero 11 vlogging setup. It's not perfect, but it gets the job done. Post what gear you use with your GoPro vlogging setup in the comments. And if you want to buy me a cup of tea, there's a new super thanks button down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.